In this video, I'm going to show you how to turn a PowerPoint into a movie using uh, the new version of PowerPoint, PowerPoint 2013. And so first thing is you need to make your PowerPoint or take a PowerPoint you've had, had made in the past, um, and you alter it, make sure it's the way you want it. And then you click on the slideshow menu. And under slideshow, you can play it from the beginning, play from the current slide. You can, you know, um, rehearse timings, you know, if you want to practice. But what we want to do is we want to record from uh, this uh, from the beginning in this case. Um, if you want to record only on a, one slide, you can. You can that's just from current slide. Like if you mess up and you want to restart on like slide three. Um, I'm going to start recording from the beginning. And you have two options that automatically default to being checked. One is to um, record the slides themselves, how long they're up there, and any animation that may be in the video in the, in the PowerPoint. And the other one is to record narrations in laser pointer. Um, of course, I want both if I'm going to turn this into a movie. And so then I click start recording. And so then the screen changes to the actual PowerPoint. And you'll see in this corner, it is now recording. All right. So this first number is how long you've been on the slide. And this second number is how long the presentation is so far. And um, I clicked and changed my, um, my slide. And so you can go ahead and record audio on the slide. And, and um, I suggest pausing for a second before changing to the next slide because, um, and when you do change over to the next slide, make sure this clock in the corner has uh, started because the way the audio is being recorded, it, it's, it gets recorded per slide. And so it has to switch to the slide and start the audio again. So um, I'm gonna pause a second, switch to the next slide and I use the cursors and then I wait a second to, to this clock starts up and then I record the audio. So right now what's going on is the narration for this how to use PowerPoint is being recorded onto each of these slides. Now if you want to change your cursor, all you have to do is right click. And you notice that it automatically pauses the video so that I can change my cursor. And if you want to write on it, you can. You just change to pointer options and I can change to um, say the laser pointer and so now it's a laser pointer or you can change it to writing and as soon as I did that what happened was this clock here started up again right and so right now I'm recording audio over this and I click my cursor to move to the next slide take a breath and wait till this clock starts because if you're talking as the slides transition from one to the next it's not being recorded and so you keep doing that and you uh, pause you know talk over slide, talk over slide, talk over slide, you know, pause, talk over slide, talk over slide, talk over slide. Um, in re you're recording audio for each slide, so remember, pause when it starts, pause at the end, talk over slide, talk over slide, talk over slide, and then talk over slide, talk over slide, blah, 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 whatever I want to talk, point to things, whatever you want to do. Um, and then when you're done with your recording, you click the X to close it. Pausing just pauses, obviously, but this will close it off. And it takes you back to the edit. And um, you know you've recorded audio on a slide when you see this little speaker show up in the bottom, right down here. And so if the speaker doesn't show up, that means you did not record audio. And you can play back the audio by itself by just clicking play, and you can see how long the audio is. So I recorded, you know, uh, 10 seconds of audio on that slide and you go through your PowerPoint and you'll notice that each of these slides have little speakers which means I've recorded audio on each of these slides. Now I stopped my recording early and I didn't record anything here so what I can do is I can choose this slide and then start recording from current slide and choose the same things and start recording and then now it'll jump to that particular slide so I can record audio on this slide that I didn't get to. And you know, click arrows, click through, la la la, recording audio, la la la, recording audio, la la la, recording audio, la la la. Now of course you wanna pause um, as you transition from one slide to the next and uh, 
like pause at the end, pause at the beginning, not a long pause, like a natural breath, just to make sure that the audio is recording on each of the slides. But you know, when I click and there's that little point where it's black, then it's not, um, in between slides, it's not gonna record. Now, what I just did was I didn't stop the recording because as soon as your PowerPoint is over and you go to the end, it automatically stops the recording for you. And so then I have an audio recording here and I can see how long it is, it's only five seconds and so on and so forth. So now I have recorded audio and timing on my slideshow. Now if you make a mistake on a slide or on everything or your audio, you just don't like it, then you can click this clear and you can clear the timing which is how long the you're on a particular slide or on a current slide on one slide or on all of them and you can you know redo the narration on one slide or all of them um, just by it's under this record slideshow clear and this clear option doesn't show up until you actually have recording on there now if you want to watch your recording back then you do this play from the beginning and it'll rec it'll play the entire PowerPoint and so you can go ahead and record cut and so I can and if I just press escape it'll stop and so you saw it just recorded the audio and played it all back for me and so that's now done so um, just a word of warning for timing issues and syncing issues make sure you pause for a natural breath at the end of a slide and wait till that clock to start up again before you start talking over the next slide. Now, it's all saved, ready to go. Um, my audio is still there, I see the audio files. And so if I wanna export it as a movie, I go click up with file, and I wanna do export. So if I click on export, and I wanna export it to creating a video, and then I want to decide on what option I want, right? If you wanna do HD display and have a really nice quality PowerPoint, you can do HD. Um, now I usually, I just default to internet and DVD because I'm going to be posting mine to YouTube. Um, and you have options here. Now this thing, don't use recorded timing and narration. This is, you do this if you just want your PowerPoint to run where each slide lasts for a couple of seconds. Now that defeats the purpose of us recording all the audio. What you want to do is you want to use your recorded timing and narration. And if you choose this option, you can totally ignore this second spent on each slide. This five seconds only pertains to this don't use the recorded timing and narrations. But since we're using recorded timing and narration, this means nothing. And then you just have to create your video and save it to wherever you want to save it. And I'm going to save mine to the desktop just so I know where it is. And I click save. And you know it's saving because at the very bottom of the screen, way down here, It'll say creating video algebra course information .mp4, which is the file type. Um, and then it, there's a progress bar. And the longer your video is, of course, the longer it'll take. And if you want to stop it, like, oh, no, I made a mistake, then press cancel, and it'll stop rendering it. Now, you obviously, if you like your PowerPoint, you wait till that bar is full. And then you'll have your movie. And then you can just open it up and upload it to wherever you want.